what up broncos country welcome back to the channel so just gonna go into this video raw don't have any notes no nothing we made it this far Let's give a round of applause week what are we on 17 uh no week uh week 18 because we got an extra game this season so yeah we would have finished what seven and nine but no we uh, got an extra game. We need to finish eight and nine or seven and ten. No record that's going to be five hundred or more. Again, unfortunately, but it's just the state of the Broncos right now. Um, so, any preview in this game? My three keys. I'm just going to make this video short and sweet. If the Broncos want to win this game, let's be honest, guys. Does it really matter if we win this game? It's not going to do anything except for bragging rights, pretty much. Uh, if we lose this game, it's honestly probably best that we lose this game for our future. Because we'll have a little more draft capital of a higher draft pick. And uh, maybe they can flip it for something we need. I don't know. But anyway, if they want to have a chance to win this game... You're gonna have to have, or, uh, you're gonna have to keep Patrick Mahomes on the bench. Obviously, um, don't want to get him going. He's definitely best player of the team. Obviously, he's gonna get them going. I think we played pretty well against Travis Kelsey and Tyree Kill on Sunday Night Football a couple weeks ago, but we couldn't score. And that's kind of going to my second key. We got to score more than three points. Or er, no, we scored nine. We got to score more than nine points. In this game, if we want to win. Um, I mean, our defense played great, I think. Holding the Chiefs to 22 points or whatever. That's pretty damn good. But when you can't score on offense, it doesn't matter. So we'll see what happens. Um, a lot of people think it's going to be a blowout. Who knows? I mean, I hope not. I mean, obviously, I want us to win, but... If we lose, I'm not going to be mad because it's honestly probably best for our uh, future. So, and then third key would probably have to be limit the turnovers, win the turnover battle. I say this almost every preview, but for real, I think especially against this team, limiting the turnover, limiting the turnover battle and capitalizing off of turnovers, scoring points off of turnovers will be huge. Um, I remember last year when Kansas City came to Denver, they dominated us. So hopefully that don't happen again. I mean, we're playing at home. I hate losing at home. But, you know, like I said, it's just the state of what the team's in right now. So one more game, then we don't got to worry about it anymore. And hopefully we can get a fresh start in the off season. We'll see what happens Black Monday. I don't know if Vic's still going to be the coach or not next season. Um, I know Shermer and McMahon, their asses are gone. Thank you. Oh, getting Shermer, I don't know whose idea it was, but just a big name. Terrible signing. Um, and then Tom McMahon, I don't even know how he's still on the damn team. But we'll see what other coaches get let go after them. I know them too for sure. So, I don't know. But honestly, I don't think this game's going to matter a lot to the veteran players. But I'd like to see some young guys step up, play well, uh, even if, you know, they can't win this game. I mean, it would be nice to snap the streak. But like I said, I ain't going to be mad if we lose this game because we're just at the point in the season where it's like it doesn't even matter. So, It'd be best for us to get a higher draft pick. Um, but, yeah, I'd like to see the young guys play well. I'd like to see Javante Williams bust a few runs, maybe score some tutties. I'd like to see Drew play well again. I think he's been doing good at his job, you know, coming in for Teddy the past couple weeks. And I'd like to see him do good again. Uh... Can Jerry Judy get a touchdown? He has zero touchdowns this season. Um, that's kind of alarming. But uh, 
he's in danger of going touchdownless this year. So we'll see if he can get in the, into the end zone tomorrow. Um, other than that, I mean, Seth Williams, I don't know if he's going to play again this game. Some other younger guys on offense. Uh, I don't know. Defense, though, I really like that one Kaiser dude, that linebacker we got. He stepped in for Kenny Young. He's he's played pretty well. Uh, but, yeah, same with Baron Brown. I'd like to see him play good again. You know, Coop back there, Leak Reed, all the young guys. Um. And give Stearns, give Stearns some time. I mean, Kareem Jackson, I believe he's ruled out for this game. Um, Pat Sertan, I'm pretty sure his 20, 21, 2022 season's over. I think he's out with an injury. He had a great rookie campaign, though. I mean, I can't bash the guy. He, he did great for us. Um, questionable pick at the time because I thought we had good cornerbacks. I even had a re reaction video on that pick. But... No, it, it was probably the best pick that we made. So, yeah. Um, other than that, it uh, should be interesting to say at least. We haven't beaten this team in about since since we made the playoffs last. It's been a while. Will it, will it end tomorrow? Only God knows. So, but like I said, and I'm going to keep on saying it, it's probably best that we lose this game for our future. So, and you, I went into the video pretty raw, I had no notes. So, hopefully, I did good. Um, pretty much touch base on everything, I think. <laughs> and you, uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. On that, stay safe, be good. Go Broncos, win or lose, baby. And we'll see what happens. I will be streaming the game as well, so make sure you guys tune in for that. All right, I'm out. Peace.